A Russian soldier from the Kursk region recorded a video message in which he accused Kadyrovites from the Akhmat unit of desertion and fleeing from their positions. He said that he spent two weeks surrounded in the Kursk region without food, observing the scattered bodies of his dead comrades and young conscripts nearby. At the same time, the Kadyrovites abandoned their positions and retreated, effectively abandoning inexperienced conscripts to a powerful breakthrough by the Ukrainian armed forces, which they were unable to cope with due to their lack of experience. A fragment of the video is published by the Telegram channel Ukraine365. You just tucked your tail between your legs and ran away from there, basically as you usually do. And then you shout, Akhmat is power, and so on. Where is your power? Where is your Akhmat? Cockerels? I only see cockerels in your place right now, he said. According to him, now, after the breakthrough of the Ukrainian army, the Kadyrovites are talking on TV and Telegram channels about their bravery, making up stories about how they allegedly clashed with the Ukrainian military. The Russian soldier does not understand how the Kadyrovites could not hear the explosions and shouting at the border. According to him, the versions of the soldiers from Chechnya are implausible and false. Moreover, during the two weeks of fighting, he did not see the Akhmat at the front at all. Only conscripts held the defense, many of whom died. Now Akhmat is taking credit for their achievements. According to the Kremlin, the Kadyrovites are a highly specialized Spetsnaz unit. However, Ramzan Kadyrov's soldiers are far from any special forces, let alone the military in general. They have even earned the nickname the TikTok Regiment and are becoming more of a burden than a help to Russia. The daily rap media outlet says that soldiers of the 141st Special Motorized Regiment, named after Ahmad Kadyrov, sent by Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov, evoke mixed feelings among the Russians themselves. On one hand, they are part of the Russian Spetsnaz, and on the other, they are Muslims who most Russians dislike. Moreover, they do not give any reasons for sympathy. Since the beginning of August, the Kadyrovites have been fighting in the Kursk breach where they suffered significant losses due to poor training and a lack of willingness to fight. Step by step, they were giving ground to the Ukrainians, first near Sudza, then near Malaya Loknia, and finally on the outskirts of Korinovo. Their combativeness is best evidenced by the fact that in two of the last mentioned locations, the Russians managed to temporarily halt the Ukrainians only when conscripts from the Russian training regiment replaced the Chechens. On August the 17th, Ukrainian media reported that near Koronevo, a company composed of young Russian conscripts surrendered. The captured teenagers said they laid down their arms to avoid being killed by the Kadyrovites. According to the prisoners' accounts, the Chechens became a barrier unit that caught retreating units and forced them to re-engage in combat. Fire that started at the oil base in Proltarsk city in Russia's Rostov region following the Ukrainian army's drone strike nine days ago still continues, local telegram channels reported. According to the reports, the fire has spread to the new oil tanks, and the reservoirs that were on fire the previous days have completely burnt out. It should be noted that the fire covered an area of more than 10,000 square meters in the first days. There were a large number of injured people among the firemen involved in extinguishing the fire. In the following days, the fire spread from the oil base area to residential areas. Currently, the scale of the fire has decreased.